Hey guys, you're watching because you want to know Lee. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. Today is Christmas Eve, uh, which means if you're watching this, you either don't celebrate Christmas or you're too excited to fall asleep and you're just going to watch some videos until you fall asleep. Or you're watching this in the future, maybe. Or you're just that dedicated to watching my videos. And if that's the case, I thank you very much. Uh, we're not going to be doing too much or any building as such today. Because it is Christmas Eve. And I'm expecting this video to get quite a number less views than a normal episode. Uh, because of that fact. So I've installed two new mods. Uh, one of the mods is a little bit of a joke, a little bit of fun more than anything, uh, and the other one can actually become really, really useful to us. Uh, I installed one. The fun one is called Soggy Transportation, or so Soggy Mustache Transportation. I haven't looked at them yet, though. I don't know what sort of... I know two things that are in that, and then I've include, and then I've installed two other sort of more serious mods called Flenix Roads and Flenix City's core. Now, the Flenix Road mod, although it's working, it's not working 100% correctly. Um, in that mod, I am supposed to, there's some XP over there, I'm supposed to have uh, traffic lights, like actual model traffic lights, and and little things, little signposts and stuff like that. They're in the mod, like if I open up the mod file, on my computer uh, and go into it they are in there but they just don't load up in the creative menu they're just not there like I can search uh, traffic light and it's not there if that's what it's called but I've looked through like every single page and a lot of the stuff is there I don't know why I can see it in the mod folders but they're just not loading up in the game maybe some of you guys can help me out with that if you've got Flanix uh, roads or Flanix cities installed maybe I'm missing an important file so let's first start off very quickly with Soggy Mustache Transportation. Now, I only got this mod for one particular reason. Because uh, they've built these vehicles in probably one of my least favourite ways of, of doing a vehicle. I like the um, Flans vehicles because they move pretty realistically and you can break them easily and stuff like that. This truck, for example, I don't think you can actually like get rid of it <laughs> from what I've tried but I got it specifically for the snowmobile up on the snow mountain here now if I put it down it's a pretty nice looking model and it's got a sound to it but as you can see do you see that it's alive technically which is my least favorite way that people do these it's like basically um, a new mob in the game but we can ride it and we can move around now it is sort of very fast it's sort of instant speed unlike the flans vehicles which is something i don't like and also you could do this move left and right as if as if you're walking but it's like faster than walking it looks so cool though i'm really happy on how it looks which is why i've included it um but it's just a shame that we sort of have to kill it with a sword we have to kill the snowmobile rather than just breaking it uh there's also a hovercraft the forklift oh for the port hey for the port that we've just been doing hey that looks pretty cool again they're all alive but it does move about i doubt you can move these uh the forks on the front of it but um that's okay let's get a better sword shall we as well that doesn't feel like it's a very good sword sword was it six seven seven's probably the best oh oh ten ten will do it's like twice as good uh and then the car i'm not really interested in the motorbike and bicycles however i am because when i first started this series i always wanted a bicycle mod um but i couldn't find any that i really liked and although this isn't like exactly what i want it does work we can get on it it's got a nice model uh, your character actually changes his position for it, which is nice. And we can move about on it. It feels pretty good. Now, the reason why I wanted a bicycle... It feels like I should really be riding like over here, shouldn't I? I should ride on the edge of the road. Um, is for a skate park. Uh, I wanted to do right from the beginning. But obviously, skate parks in Minecraft don't really work. We need angles to be able to do skate parks. And we don't really have that option. So anyway, that's that mod. Oh, yeah, that did kill it. I got two bikes from that. How am I killed one bike and got two out of it? There's also a motorbike as well. It works in the same sort of way. It looks pretty cool. 
Um, <laughs> the wheels shake when you kill it. But the other mod, the more serious mod that I've installed is Flenix Cities and Flenix Roads. Like I said, it's not working 100% properly, but there are some really cool things in this. First being ATM machine. There's different ones depending on uh, like the background. Like we can have uh, like the building you're going to put it in. So there's like a normal stone one, a stone brick one. A sort of whitey, quartzy one, and a grey sort of one as well. Which is really cool. So we can stick these in the side of buildings and actually get ATM machines. But wait! You need dollars. Money, 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 money. So we got $1 coin, $20, $2, $10. Now, I've already got currency in the game with the RTM ones. And there's also some other sort of currency coins as well from other mods. However, this one's really cool because... You'll need a debit card. Now, I just picked up a debit card and it says, Hazy One and Only Gaming, your unique pin is 3410. So, if I go up to the machine and I put in, what was it? 3410. It's even got like little beep sound effects. 3140, attempt one of three, confirm. 3410. There we go. I must have clicked something wrong. <laughs> uh, withdraw on balance. Now, my balance at the moment is a current of $10. $10, which is cool because uh, I suppose it gave me $10. Withdraw. I can withdraw money. Let's withdraw 10 You have successfully withdrawn $10. Press continue to click that. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And eject the card. Okay. And close out. There we go. So, and I got two. Now, what I can do is I can either put the money in like this. So I put 10 in, and I put 2 in, or with an empty hand I can shift click and deposit all my money in there. So I've now got $42, and you get your own little debit card. That's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. I really like that. It's better than our ender chest um, that we've been currently using. We've just been using a retextured ender, test, ender chest for ATM machines, which works pretty well, but it means you can also store food and stuff in there, which isn't really right for an ATM. Um, moving on from that, uh, these are the tools, I suppose, for survival mode. Uh, Phoenix City, uh, now, I haven't looked at these at all. Um, I just saw them in my inventory, and I was like, oh, the mod's working. That must be good then. So what is this then? Height 60. So we've got, like, different heights. And do they auto-tile? They do. Okay, so they sort of automatically join up to the shape that you want. That's pretty cool. But then why is there different heights? Like, if I get that one. <gasps> we got ramps. Hey. The, uh, um, skate park might not be as far away as I thought. What if I'd done something like an eight and then a one? Can I walk up that? I can. <gasps> and then you can go back, get back up. Oh, oh, you could make, not only could you make some really cool parks out of this, I mean, it's got a really nice border and everything on this grey one, but hey, that, some inspiration I'm sure will be flowing in some of you guys about now, right? Some, some sort of thoughts. It's got some dark grey ones as well that'll do the same thing. Now, do the dark grey ones also join up to the grass ones? They don't, so... So the only only that type will sort of make ramps. That's interesting to know. That's good to know. Light gray, small tile. What are they, these all about? Why are these got funny textures? <gasps> oh, they've got a really nice little bricky texture going on. Very, very nice. Now, it's possible that we can actually swap out our paths for these because we've got different heights. Like, we can get an eight high one. And boom. That fits in there quite nicely, doesn't it? Potentially, there's there's a potential for that to happen, 100%. Like in the new year, we do like a complete revamp on some of the major parts of the city. Street block. Why are they like? Why are they all the same? Oh, they are slightly different, I suppose. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, there's just like a bunch of the same block. That's pretty cool. It's not the color that I thought. That that's the color that I. <laughs> <laughs> that it was, but okay, no, 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 that's cool. Um, and then there's some like other sort of randomish blocks going on as well. And then we get into uh, 
Oh, yeah. Flat. Oh, what else is in, in economy? The store stock pairing device. This store link has not been... Right click on a store chest to save its data. Then right click your store to create a link. Stock chest. Admin shop. Floating levels shop. Okay, we'll have a look in that. We'll have a look in a minute. We'll have a, I'm very excited. We'll have a look in a minute. Now, this is a really cool one. This has a bunch of lines. Now, we've made our own lines. You know, we've made double yellow lines. How do these work? Do they, like, work depending on what way I'm facing? Oh, do I have to put them on top of, like, a actual block like tarmac road yeah okay so it's like an overlay that clicks on top that's not a problem this texture is actually extremely close look at that extremely close to our road texture that we've already got so let's imagine let's take this out and we put in the road texture instead as you see it's pretty close I'll, i would be happy with that and then we can get the paint markings on here Handicap parking space Now that's pretty cool, right and there's a yellow one as well. I don't know what the difference between a white one and the other We've got um, arrows cycle lanes Single lines and, and thicker lines. We've got the entire alphabet so we can get like school. Let's try that uh, S C If I spell this wrong, it's gonna be embarrassing. O O L and then we go what would it be like? O O L. Uh, there wouldn't be a middle point, basically. O O L H C F. Now that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I think that's how you spell school. It looked it looked wrong to me. <laughs> uh, and then we've got some other sort of bits going on here. W yellow line paint white. I don't know what they are. I've got question marks on them. Yeah, and then. And then arrows going on. Now we make our own arrows and stuff like that, but I'm more than I'm more than open to change up some stuff to this if it's going to give us more. Like we can have bus lanes and actually like write bus lanes on there. If we go into the actual blocks, what do we have in here? So we've got concrete road, which is the lighter one. We've got the tarmac road, which is the sort of road texture that we're going for here, as you've seen. Uh, you know, very very close to this one. I'm going to change this back so I don't have this random line there for a little while. I have no idea what this is going to look like on the um, overviewer map. I don't know what these like tarmac blocks the game is going to see as. Because obviously overviewer can't pick up mods. Hopefully it sort of picks up as stone so it doesn't make too much of a difference. I don't know. I'll be disappointed. I'm going to be disappointed either way when it comes to that. Because it's going to, it's going to wreck some stuff. Oh, and these also come in different heights as well. So we can have... Oh, uh, wrong one. This one, was it? Dark tarmac. Oh, no. What is that one? Oh, that's just stone. That's why. <laughs> uh, tarmac and tarmac. So these also make ramps? <gasps> they do. So we could actually make better ramps instead of our uh, half slab style ramp that we've got going on. We can actually make a smooth uh, incline. That's pretty important. I'm very sort of interested about that. And then we've got some different colors as well. Now... Here in the UK, we very rarely, or I've never seen blue tarmac roads. I know in some other countries they do, and the same as white tarmac and green tarmac. However, the pink one, or the red, ready pink one, is used for some bus lanes and sometimes for cycle lanes as well. This very pinky-ish block, uh, you know, this this red one, uh, is used for sort of bus and 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 bike lanes sometimes there are some different colors as well all like grass ones dirt ones gravel ones yellow tarmac i don't know what you'd use that for sand see there's some interesting things that we could maybe do with the beach with the sand potentially i don't know i'm very open to some uh to some inspiration from you guys in the comments section i'll be watching them closely because uh there's some cool things that we can do with the ramps definitely like with the red now we could have something like we've just made a little skating ramp, hey? We can make a skate park out of that. You could definitely make a skate park out of that. Now, I don't know if we could make like a, 
uh like a half pipe that's the word I, i'm not a skater i'm not <laughs> i'm not a skating genius let's if we grab like a few different heights of these could i make like i might not be able to do it that fast like if we went that one f uh, four if we go up every four four eight now you need to go up faster than that don't you we need to have like the full ones like you don't want it like up to there Ooh. oh oh hang on we might be getting sort of somewhere like you want it like really sharp You know, there's a potentiality for this to work. With some practice. With some practice, there might be something we can do here. I, I think you need it a little bit higher than that. It's just a matter of getting like the right combination of blocks see that goes shorter for some reason there why does it go shorter yeah see that works if you had like a few of those you could sort of it, we could make that look like a half pipe 100 percent. that's as close as we're ever gonna get yeah no very happy with that very happy with that. Okay, so to finish off then, what else have we got in here then? What is all this about? We've got like 50 cents and stuff like that. A banker spawn card. I don't know what this does. I've already got banker. But it, oops. But if this one's cooler. There we go. Your unique pin. Yeah, he's giving me his pin. So if I click on... Oh, maybe he just gives me a card. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's how... I've already got a card, though, so he... Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. We... We... We might have a banker just roaming the earth now. <laughs> I'll have to look in and how to get rid of him. <laughs> All right, he's fine there. It's cool. He can wander about. Uh, what's this, though? Floating shelf shop... Admin shop, chest, stock chest, stock pairing device. So if I put down a wall, okay, and we put floating shop first. Now, can I put things on here? Ooh, <gasps> grass block. Bye. Uh, one dollar is. Then how do I like? Oh, buy. Oh, I don't have it. So they're free. I don't know. We can set this up in a way that you could like sell stuff. Sweet. So huh. That's so cute. So we can actually have an economy going on. Like, like, like buying and selling stuff. We've never had that before. So what about the admin shop? God, broadsword. I can't. Store owner interface. Okay, and customer interface. Now, if I'm the store owner, I want to set that to 1 and sell it at 0 0.5. But how is it? Why is it not? <gasps> there we go. Now it worked. Oh, but uh, I can take. I can just take it out. Maybe because... Buy? <gasps> it worked! Buy? Yeah. Okay, so I can buy them and I can sell them back. And I got two. I got one dollar out of it, two fifty cents. So that's pretty cool. But then, what is this about? Who oh my? Okay, grass block. So I can buy it up. 
Haven't got a clue. And I don't know what this stock pairing device is. That, we've got some cool stuff going on here, definitely. I'm very interested about the road mods. I need to do some testing with the road mods to see what it looks like in the overview. Because overview is quite important to me. I do like seeing it from on top there. And um, I don't think that it's going to become visible in overview, which is going to be a shame. I'll have to have a look. I'll have to do like a test area, like the beachfront area. Do that as a test and, and have a look. Because if we can get the roads on, I think it could potentially be pretty cool. Like there's some definitely some options for us uh, in here. And I'm sure there's some stuff that I'm missing as well. Well, I already know there's a lot of blocks that I'm missing. But uh, very interesting. Especially the ramp ideas and the bus lane ideas and stuff like that. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas. Please let me know in the comment section uh, if it's going well. Um, hopefully it's going well. I would kind of see why it wouldn't go well. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. Uh, Merry Christmas. I will be having a video out coming out tomorrow anyway. And we shall see you guys in the next episode.